Hello and welcome my name is Amul and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video I am going to show you how to download and install WordPress on Microsoft operating systems. So WordPress 5.7.2 this is going to be for any WordPress release so be it in future or in past you simply go ahead and get the WordPress download from this page. Okay, download and install and if you're looking for older releases, you will simply go to this all releases and look for the release that you want to download and install. The other thing if you're looking for beta and 90 versions, you simply click on this and you will be getting the latest zip here. Alrighty, so however in this video we are going to download and install the most latest public release so we will go to okay so it's very simple let me go ahead and show you one more time so first first of all you go to wordpress.org then hit get wordpress and you can see here is a download and install however wordpress suggests you to go ahead and install it through a hosting provider which will be just one click Alright, so you click on the download and install and you get this download work, WordPress 5.7.2. So go ahead and click on it. So first thing first, we will go ahead and download WordPress locally on the system. And this takes a little bit of time, okay? And after that, we want to make sure that we have PHP, a database and a server. So for that, if you already have set up everything that's perfectly fine otherwise you should go ahead and install XAMPP which is very easy to manage package it gives you everything the server the database PHP and Perl as well and very beautiful easy to manage control panel so go ahead and download it this is available for all the operating systems Windows Linux and Mac but go ahead and download this windows edition one thing i completely forgot to tell you that you need to have php 7.4 at least to download this wordpress 5.7 and above uh, so i'm not going to show you how to install xamp or any other similar package it's very straightforward you simply go ahead and download it and click on it and you are done if you're using older operating system like 7 or 8 you might have to restart your operating system after installing XAMPP so once your XAMPP is installed I assume that you have a similar software or XAMPP installed we will go ahead and start the server which is Apache and we also need the MySQL database so I'm going to start however it's MariaDB with XM, they simply say MySQL because it's popular and everybody knows it. Okay, I can go ahead and close it and I can also go ahead and start my admin by clicking here. So this will take me to the dashboard. Now I can close it and this will keep running in the background. You can see it here Apache and MySQL. And here I can simply go to PHP my admin which is a user interface for managing database like MySQL now I can go ahead and close everything and my download is almost done some some error ignore everything so if you're getting something like that don't panic just ignore it this happens now we will go ahead and create a database so there are two ways you can go ahead and create a database by clicking on the databases typing in the database name or you simply click new and you will be landing on the same page so I'm going to simply say WP572 that's the database name and leave it as it is so this has to be UTF-8 and before general CI and your database has been created so we have our database 
on MySQL server using phpMyAdmin and when you create a database you have a username and a password but in our case we don't have password we just have database however we can go ahead and work on that if you would like to so go to privileges go ahead and create a user and a password and then you can use this user otherwise we already have a user which is root with uh, xamp so i'm going to close this one and now we will go ahead and unzip this so we need to go ahead and unzip it once the download is done so it's by default in the downloads folder so here we have uh, wordpress 5.7.2 so here we have wordpress 5.7.2 now it's downloaded i can go ahead and unzip it so there are a few ways you simply go ahead and right click and extract all otherwise if you have any software like 7-zip which is completely free you can download it and install it you simply go to 7-zip it's a bit, bit faster this is why i'm using it extract to the folder and it's going to be extracted in just a few seconds and you can see the extraction is done I can go ahead and open it and here we have WordPress so this is all we need right now so I'm going to put it on the right side and then get into the XMP root directory so I'm going to launch another file explorer by pressing window E on the keyboard and then go to this PC and wherever you have installed your XAMPP in my case it's a C drive XAMPP and under XAMPP you simply look for htdocs and here you simply go ahead and create a new folder and then name it whatever name you want to give it so 5, 7, 2 just go ahead and open this folder and all you have to do just select everything from the extracted wordpress and drag it in the folder that you created in htdocs now you can you can go ahead and delete these folders you don't need them anymore and we are done so we have everything we have the folder wp572 we have the database we have the server running so i can simply go to localhost and then the folder name so in my case it's a wp572 hit enter and this is going to hit the installation script of wordpress in just few seconds here we can select the language and say continue now you can see we need the database name username password host and table prefix so we have everything we need now we can go ahead and say let's go and this is going to be database name if you remember username is by default root we don't have any password localhost is perfectly fine table prefix when you're installing more than one wordpress however it's a good idea to go ahead and change the table prefix for security reasons so i'll go ahead and simply say let's say it's a demo wp so i'll simply say demo site ds right and we can run the installation now all right spark you are almost done here so site name demo site admin is username however if you're installing it on the web you should go ahead and pick a very unique admin name password is going to be password but you know what you need to do go ahead and choose a username and a password and type in the site name hit installation 
install sorry uh, oh i forgot the email address right where are you asking for email here we go so you have to type in everything site name username password confirm use of so we are here wordpress is installed simply go ahead and click on login and type in the username and password and we are in the demo site so this is wordpress 5.7.2 installation on microsoft operating system it's easy feasy if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap